Hello and welcome to episode four of Justin's Leap to the Past. I'm outside of my apartment right now, so you can see it's a little windy. Um, just trying to give you a different look every time. And uh, today I want to talk about fighting. So something about me, I consider myself a martial artist. And I've studied martial arts 25 years of my life. So the two fights that I'd ever been in took place before that, so quite a while ago. And it's, I guess it's telling that I consider myself a pretty serious martial artist and have not gotten into a fight since these. So the first one, let's leap back to the summer before sixth grade. Man, that's, yeah, it's really flowing. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll not drop my phone down the balcony on the ninth floor. Um, so I used to go to the pool a lot, the public pool, Buckner Pool in Waukesha, Wisconsin. And I would be there pretty much every day without fail. And surprisingly, I didn't get any tanner and I didn't get any skinnier. But rest assured, I would go to the pool all the time, swim around, dive off the diving boards, play basketball, volleyball, just explore being the physics of being underwater, just loving that. And uh, one time a kid from my school who I didn't really know was there. Maybe there were a couple of us. And uh, I think I spit pool water in his face. To me, it was a joke. To him, he got a little, little upset, I think. And, uh, you know, we went on with our play and then I think we got finished, got, our, got dressed and, and left, left the pool area. And uh, I think he said something to me to the effect of like, if you ever spit at me again, I'm going to beat your ass. And this kid was about a year younger than me and I was kind of a punk. So I spit on him and he got really mad. And again, I wasn't taking it very seriously, but then he started pushing me. And a crowd started gathering around because nothing... Nothing attracts a crowd like a, like a bunch of stupid kids that might, might fight. Something interesting might happen. And uh, he's pushing me, and I push him a little bit. And uh, then there's starting to be people talking about, well, lay the ground rules of this, of this fight. Um, and finally, he does get upset enough that he starts punching me. And he's, he's punching me, punching me, and I don't, I don't feel it. I'm... Uh, I'm like smiling, I'm like laughing at this kid as he's just trying to beat me senseless. And then I, he finally stops and he strikes like some Bruce Lee pose, I think to try and save face thinking that, you know, oh, this, I was just joking when I was punching this guy a dozen times. So then I pushed him and he, he fell backwards over some bikes that were you know, circling around us, uh, pit fighter style, and I walked home. But I was upset. Maybe, maybe the gravity of, of why he was doing that and, and what a jerk I was kind of got to me and I, I I ended up tearing up on the way home like I remember being in the in the porch and my mom coming and I was really upset because of this fight even though nothing happened and I didn't even throw a punch and now let's go forward in that but still let's leap back to uh, eighth grade eighth grade for me I moved to a new school halfway through um, I was one of the poor kids I was one of the less easy to define kids, you know, I wasn't like a sporty kid or an overly nerdy kid or a, a punk kid, I was just a kid, I was just me. And I remember in gym class, hopefully you can hear with the trains going by, um, there was some pushing, again, pushing going on. I think it was in the, dry, the locker room of the gym and uh, some of the tough kids were like on one end of a bench and I was sitting on this end and they kind of were pushing on this side, so I just kind of got up all my my power and shoved, and uh, the one guy on the edge of that bench fell off. It, nothing big. I mean, it's a it's a bench, not a big deal. But I think he came around and started threatening me, and I, again, was was just talking mad smack to the guy. And I didn't have a friend in the world at this point, and they were like four dudes that were the tough kids. Uh, but nothing happened, and then we're walking. The, the locker room was in the basement, so we had to walk up the stairs to get to the normal uh, school floor. And not the guy that I pushed, but the guy, his friend, punched me in the back on, on the way up the stairs. And I just kept walking, and then I got really upset all of a sudden. And, and, but strangely, not at the guy who punched me, but the guy who I was John with before. So I was like, we were finally up on the landing, and I was like, what, do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? And I 
John Wayne kind of cowboy style haymakered him and he went down. Now I hit him with like my pinky because I didn't know how to punch at the time. Uh, but he went down, but I kind of put him in a headlock and I was like, that's what you get for fucking with me or whatever I was saying. I probably wasn't swearing at the time. Um, and then I, 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 think, I think his buddy who punched me separated us. And then I went back to my locker. It was like the end of the day, got my stuff. And then the dude kind of jumped me in the hallway then and, and, and like thought that he'd probably get the, get the jump on me, get the best of me. But again, I, I didn't, he was punching at me and I didn't, I didn't feel a thing. Just the adrenaline was flowing through me. So I start punching him finally. I, you know, unlike the last fight, I actually did throw some punches and he and I just started brawling down the hallway and there were kids there and it was, we, we had no, no care for anybody else's safety, just wanting, wanting to hurt each other. And I remember him saying, like, you can't hurt me. And I just just kept silently wailing on him. And then he stopped. And then he turned around and ran. And I'm not sure why. Maybe I, maybe I was hurting him. I don't know. But uh, I was like, come back here, pussy. And he turned around and looked at me. And then past him, a teacher or a teacher's aide or something was like, Casey, you come here right now. And uh, the dude didn't know me because I was a new kid. And uh, so I just got out there. I got on the bus and uh, took the bus home. This time I wasn't that upset. I was kind of cocky about it still. And uh, I think the next day, like, that whole foursome again kind of corralled me in the locker room and, like, threatened me but only to save face. They weren't really going to do anything. And they whispered that to me, but I was so uh, amped up that I didn't really hear it or register it. But nothing ever happened again. Um, he and I parted amicably, and, and uh, yeah, I think like the next year, my mom put me in martial arts, which was one of the best things she could have done. And, and just telling the story now, I kind of see why she felt the need to do that. If I, I, she never found out about that fight because they didn't know who I was, and uh, I guess I just you know I got the I got the get out of fight jail free card somehow. And I, I never got into a fight again. But uh, yeah, martial arts really changed my life. And I think something that really avoided people messing with me that I never really registered at the time, even though I was a kind of bigger kid, kind of stockier kid, is that I would throw roundhouse kicks. Once I was in Taekwondo for a while, I threw roundhouse kicks at my friends' heads. And I would, I would throw kicks like, you know, right past their face, really dangerous angles. But I was in control and they just stood there and let the kick pass, which was better than them freaking out and probably getting hit. And uh, I think word got around that like, oh, Justin's a big kid and he can do that. So let's not mess with him. And I never really gave anybody a reason to mess with me after that. And uh, yeah, I've been, I've been fight free ever since. Uh, and here in Japan, everybody's pretty nonviolent. So I think that streak will last quite a while. So that's my leap to the past for today. Hopefully you heard it. And hopefully I don't look too windy that I'm going to delete this. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is episode four. I'm, I'm putting up, I think, one a day so far. And it's been fun. And I have a big list. Man, I just got out of the shower too. Like I got no product in my hair. Eh, whatever. Um, but I have a whole list of stuff that I want to talk to you about. And hopefully you'll find it interesting and I'll keep mixing it up. And uh, yeah, join me again for another episode of Leap to the Past. Thanks.